go through what I keep in my bag. Now, I have a new bag that we are going to be featuring today. It is this bad boy right here. I will have it down below if you guys want to check it out. It has a very, very nice sustainable leather material. Feels very, very high quality. It is a little bit more pricey. However, if you're looking for a good quality everyday bag, it might be worth the investment, but I'll go through and share with you all of the details of this bag as well as what I keep inside of the bag. Let's start off with the bag itself. It is a sustainable leather. It has a lock right here, which is really nice because you get that extra security. You twist the lock, you can open up the bag and have access to what is inside. It has many pockets as well as little zipper pouches for added storage. This front slot is perfect if you want to keep your phone in the front and then the back what I really love about this bag is the versatility of carrying it so you have your option of carrying it like a traditional short handle bag you can make it a longer strap bag carry it more of like a cross body or you can pull both of these straps through just like it was at the beginning and wear it like a backpack. So really, you can use this for anything. You can use this as a diaper bag, as a purse, as a crossbody work bag. This is really, really versatile when it comes to use. I just really like that. The bottom is hard. It's a very, very structured purse, but still has a lot of room. And the back also has this right here, which if you're traveling, will go over your luggage handles. So you can have this rest right on top of your suitcase and you don't have to worry about spilling over. I've really grown to appreciate bags that have that. I just think it's such a neat feature and I think every bag needs to have it. Let's unlock this bad boy and go inside. We've got a ton of really great little finds. There's a lot of storage. It does have a little spot right here for an iPad or a smaller computer. This does not fit a 16 inch laptop. That's the one I have does not fit that. This is their original size, so it's not extra large. I wanted one for everyday carrying and not so much work necessities. But it does have that storage and that locking feature in case you wanna put your tech inside. Now, we're gonna just go pocket by pocket and I'm gonna show you what I have in here. So starting off in the first pocket, I just keep my cards. I just like to carry all my cards. I don't need a huge wallet. Just have all of my cards in this little card holder right here. Really nice quality, quilted, black. I've had this for about a year and a half now or a year. I love it, it fits all the cards perfectly that I need. I also have this right here, which is actually an Amazon find. This is a refillable perfume container. All you gotta do is just like pop it, pop open your perfume, pump it into this, and then just lock it up and close it. You don't have to spend money on the travel sizes or worry about bringing a big bottle. You just fill this up with your perfume. The next pocket I have, my Aquaphor in. I can't go anywhere without my Aquaphor. It's my favorite lip product. It's a classic and I think it just does the best job. The next pocket has my hand sanitizer in it. I almost need to refill it. I really do like the Touchland hand sanitizers when it comes to my purse and travel. It does not spill. It's sprayable. It's very compact so it fits in those pockets. Found with other hand sanitizers because normally it's a thicker bottle. Sometimes you can't get it into those little like pre-made pockets inside of your purse. So that's a really great situation when these come in handy. The next thing I keep in here is this hand cream right here. This one smells like a legit spa. It smells so good. It smells like a rosemary, mandarin, and cedar. It's like that perfect combination of all those scents, as well as it's a really, really nice cream. I like a cream hand lotion. I feel like it just does a really, really got good job with moisturizing, and this comes with a ton of product. I mean, look at how big that thing is. I go through lotion like crazy. I don't know what it is. My hands have been so dry the past couple of weeks. So I ended up upgrading to bigger bottles of everything because I just need all the help I can get. The next thing in here is gum. The label came off of this one. So now it's low key and aesthetic, <laughs> but I just have those in there. Oh, my hands are all slimy because the hand lotion. 
Well, now I need to replace this because I don't think that lid's going to be able to go back on. Oh my gosh, that was a fail. What the heck? I make messes everywhere I go. I always have to have some sort of stain remover with me. This one is the Shout Wipe and Go Instant Stain Wipe. Either this or a Tide Stick. I keep them both with me. This one's just a little bit more compact for a purse, I feel like. In the same category as wipes, I always keep makeup removers with me. We go to Disney a lot. We do like outings all the time and I do not like greasy makeup on my face. I have very oily skin so my face gets greasy after like five minutes and I just I get in the worst attitude when my face is greasy. <laughs> So I got these in a pack of 50 on Amazon. Such a deal and they do a really good job. One thing about me, I'm gonna have all the essentials. I always like to keep some band-aids on me. You never know when you're gonna have to test out new shoes or you accidentally get a paper cut or something. I just keep band-aids with me at all times. So if you're ever with me and you need a band-aid, I probably have one. I also keep my everyday sunglasses. These ones right here. I've had these for about a year. They're like $12 on Amazon. I don't see myself getting any other sunglasses. I just think these are great. I love the cat eye. I couldn't get over the fact that they're $12 and they're honestly still with me, but I wear these every day and I do not see myself changing that at all. The next thing I keep with me is my little fan. It is hot here in Florida now. We're having like 93, 95 degree days and I'm just not about it. I keep my fan with me, it's portable, and I'm just able to cool down my face whenever I need to just to kind of chill out. It comes with a little wrist strap. I just can't risk having a sweaty face. Again, it's kind of like the same thing with the oily face. Oily and sweaty. Mmm, that's a combination I really don't like. All right, so it does have a big zipper pouch on this side right here, so I've got some things in here. First off, I have my Rare Beauty Oil Compact. If you can't tell, oily skin is the name of the game over here. This comes with oil blotting sheets as well as an oil in or not oil infused, that would not be good. A powder infused puff. These are both replaceable, which is nice because you don't have to purchase the whole thing. You can just purchase the oil blotting sheets or the puff, which is really handy. And then it's got that mirror so you can do little touch ups. I love how compact it is. I'm a sucker for anything that is like compact, easy to carry. I love that. And when it comes to your purse, you're going to want to maximize the space. The next thing I keep in here is my dry shampoo. I have another one in my car. I love this dry shampoo just to keep with me. It's a powder. So especially if you're keeping a dry shampoo in your car, make sure it's a powder because aerosols can be flammable. This is the Verb Gentle Light Volume Dry Shampoo Powder. This one is not my favorite if you're looking for a really, really good, just like everyday dry shampoo. I don't love this one for every day, but if you need a last minute touch up, this one's great. So that's why I kind of keep it in my purse and in my car. I feel like this is the best powder dry shampoo. I found this and I was so excited to show you this. This is an SD card reader for your phone. So you can plug in, I believe that's a USB port, a micro SD card and a regular SD card into your iPhone. So if you take photos, like I know the big thing right now is Canon G7X flash photos. I love those. But sometimes it can be hard to connect your phone and it's just a pain sometimes and sometimes you need to even get a computer to get them on your computer to get them onto your phone I mean it's a whole process so you can just directly plug this into your phone put the SD card in here go into your photos app and there will be a little button at the bottom where it says like album and everything to import photos I just thought this was so handy all right so kind of sticking around the same theme of oily face but dry hands. I don't know why this happens. I love this cuticle oil. This is the 10 over 10 ro rose oil. Oh my gosh. This stuff is fabulous. It's got like a little roller ball. So all you do is just roll it along your cuticle, rub it in. Holy moly. This stuff, if you have dry cuticles, is so nice and look at how easy to carry that is. Love the packaging. I always keep claw clips with me. I've been kind of liking doing my hair like this. It's a nice way to kind of do a half up but still have volume. When I'm filming, I need the front of me to look nice and sometimes when I do a half up, my hair looks really flat. So I've been using claw clips like crazy. These ones, my favorite from Anthropology. they come in a pack and these ones are really, really nice 
and high quality. I always keep my phone with me for obvious reasons. This case is really, really nice. This is a silicone. I love the color of it. I've had this on my phone now for probably six months now. I really like it. It's a really good phone case. It's easy to clean and it's pretty affordable. I want to say it was like under $15. I'll have it down below as well as everything else. You guys know the drill. And again, my iPad. I always have my iPad with me when I'm doing like work on the go. I don't really bring that and my laptop, but because this doesn't fit a laptop, I really think I want to get a nice iPad. Do you have any recommendations for which iPad to get? I still need to do research. I'm thinking I'm doing one that's like comparable to a MacBook just because I do a lot of computer work on there. If you have any advice or recommendations, please let me know because I am interested in upgrading to a newer iPad just because I do use it all the time. But this bag does have storage for your tech. This right here is a snap close, slide your tech in there, and then you can lock it shut so you're good to go. Speaking of locking it up and you're good to go, that is everything that I am keeping in my new everyday bag. I really love this. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. I could film these every single day. I love doing what's in my bag videos. They remind me of like 2010 YouTube and it makes me so happy. But I will have everything down below for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video.